All right, everybody. Hello. I dropped literally everything in order to <laughs> show and react to the Amnesia the Bunker announcement trailer as soon as I saw the update on their Discord. They have a Discord. Um, go to the Frictional Games Discord. I'll put the link down in the description because I'm doing a reaction. I don't know how to do these. Okay, I've never done one before, but I dropped literally everything. This is the middle of my- This is the middle of my day. Okay, I'm getting- <laughs> I've never done this before, but I am super excited and I just wanted to share my joy of- I really, really like Frictional Games stuff so much. up with good atmosphere. Creepy sound design. <laughs> yes, the blood. The blood trails. Yo! Wait, is this the first time we get a gun gun in... Yo! Is this gonna be like... Yo! Yo, we're gonna get an actual gun? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was that? What is it coming out for all? I'm actually kind of curious. Xbox series? Okay, so it's multi-platform. It's not gonna be on the Nintendo Switch, which I'm actually kind of I'm actually kind of curious about why it's not coming to the Nintendo Switch, but that is going across a variety of platforms. I don't know if they announced which engine they're using, but I'm curious if they're still using the one that they have been intending to, which is their own like in-house engine. <laughs> I, I'm also a nerd over the engines and stuff use, but that is so cool. We're actually getting a gun. Our protagonist here has a heckin' revolver. Uh, with like Soma, for example, we never had. I'm trying to remember. I don't think you act, you've never got an actual like gun gun in Amnesia Rebirth. So this is the first, uh, this is actually uh, Penumbra you were armed. Okay, very slight correction. In none of the frictional games, have you actually gotten a gun? Just a straight up gun, not even in Penumbra. You get tools and that are used as weapons, but they're not actually guns. And I am super excited and super hyped for this. <laughs> So I needed to show you, but that's super interesting. Do they give you any sort of hints or anything? Okay, nothing on nothing on the actual monster, it looks like. I don't think there's anything super packed into this. Um, obviously, we've got some sort of device. We've got something that's measuring time. Um, oh no, that's a light. So we've got a light and we've got a, uh, a, a stopwatch, which is interesting. Uh, and Amnesia Rebirth, you had sort of a strange, you had this sort of uh, medallion type device sort of thing. But this will be super interesting. I wonder if they're laying into more of the original, like their the oldest, their oldest games with Penumbra with that survival uh, armed horror. That'll be super interesting. Um, I'm, <laughs> shit, I don't have, I, it's not like I have anything prepared. I don't know what else to say, but because this is a very short trailer, but it looks super interesting. <clears throat> <clears throat> and I'm kind of I this this looks it looks sort of similar to the previous to the engine that they use for rebirth um I know that they used for rebirth they use their in-house engine version 3.5 and so I'm wondering if this is their finished version of 4 so that'll be super curious to see um I'm actually I'm the more I think about it the more I'm surprised that they're not developing for Nintendo switch or at least according to this release these releases um, the, the console releases that they have here for all of these, and I'm not too surprised that they're developing for- Wait, no, does that mean not PS5? Wait, hold on. It is a little curious that it does not say PS5, so I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know what kind of release or how big this release is going to be, but it looks like- Okay, I should probably show off the Steam page too. <laughs> With only one bullet. Oh, I see. So this is going to be like a short with one bullet. You, okay, left all alone in a desperate World War One bunker with only one bullet remaining in the barrel. It's up to you to face the oppressing terrors in the dark. Keep the lights on and all costs for sphere. A truly intense and horror experience. Interesting. Okay. I wonder how long this is going to actually be then. This seems like a full... This, oh, okay, I'm not like... <laughs> of course. No, stop, please. <laughs> okay. They do have more screenshots on the Steam page though. That's good, that's good. Wait, hold on. That's three bullets in the chamber. <laughs> Hunted by an ever-present rea threat react. Shinto movement sound interesting. Okay. Escape the nightmare. Okay. Dynamic and ever-present monster. So it's gonna be a single 
monster. It sounds like sort of an advanced escape room. <laughs> um, but I'm still surprised. It, it They're not developing for the... I'm, I'm actually really shocked about the PS... There's lack of PS5 and uh, Switch um, porting. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that icon on the bottom left is. That looks like matches. It looks like matches, but they do have they do have a bunch of screenshots. I don't see anything. I'm curious if this is going to relate to Rebirth because this looks, um, this looks like slightly. Oh, when was when was? Oh shoot, I'm actually not entirely sure when. I don't remember when when Rebirth was set, but this looks like maybe. Um, it might be set around the time. It might be related to Rebirth directly. Um. Because they did have, they did have some sites where there were obviously, like, you know, there were some bunkers and uh, war and such. That's very non-specific grenades and stuff. So I'm actually, I'm then this releases in f approximately four months. Okay, that's. I think that's gonna be it. I talked for seven minutes. I, <laughs> I'm not very good at this. That's my reaction. I'm hyped as hell. Anyway, okay. Thank you all so very much for watching my weird little tangent here. I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>